Okay, this is a quick demonstration video. This is the Shurcom SS10. It says RSSI, which means Relative Signal Strength Indication Meter, but it is a field strength meter with an adjustable gain or uh, attenuation. And um, it's got some kind of capacitor or, you know, I forget what they, what they call it in the manual, but um, basically a um, buffering circuit so the needle doesn't go all over the place. Um, obviously, with the gain all the way up, the needle slams. And you can see it takes a second to go back down, so there's definitely... The antenna is vertically polarized right now. Whoop. Give it a second to catch up. That just shows you how sensitive this instrument is. Um, at full sensitivity, anyway. That's a you know, wide handheld HF transmitter. Um, this thing's little. I mean, there it is next to a H602. And some other radios. They make another version of it that's got uh, a power meter in it, or um, it's powered, it has a little battery in it, so it actually has some gain. Um, but uh, just picking it up like that, you can see the needle kind of move a little bit. I think that's coming from my phone. Um, I do want to put it next to the Wi Fi router and, and see how much the needle moves there with. Into the Wi-Fi signals, but um, maybe we need to mess with the polarization a little bit. This is the antenna that comes with it, so you could definitely hook up a nicer antenna. It's got an SMA connector there, and just for fun. SMA. So it would be easy to add a different antenna, switch out an antenna. Um, what's most important, obviously, is the polarization, as you can see from the beginning of the intro there. But uh, yep, we're going to be using this to do some mobile antenna tests and some other tests with the antennas, um, and, uh, near field radiation patterns, and things like that. So, Shurcom SS10, basic signal strength meter. 100 kilohertz to 3 gigahertz.